But we begin tonight with Hawaii's television and film industries looking forward to restarting projects that they had to halt mid production due, of course, to the pandemic. They say the quarantine changes on August the 1st will hopefully jumpstart some of those projects. Max Rodriguez with more in the story. That you it's a longer hiatus than expected for TV and movie productions. The Island Film Group's co-founder says the demand for content is there, but it's a matter of making sure the sets are safe. Directors, producers, and actors are all trying to figure out when they can return to set. Everybody's coming out with their own guidelines as federal guidelines. There's CDC and OSHA. There's the unions have their white paper out on guidelines so everybody's trying to figure out how to do this in a safe manner there are some safety guidelines for filming in honolulu beaches and state parks have not yet been cleared to be used as filming locations the state as a whole has not yet released guidelines either Recommendations for filming in Honolulu say actors should do their own hair and makeup, everyone on set should keep masks on as much as possible, and create work groups no larger than 10 people and minimize movement between the groups. If you're on a large feature film or you're doing a TV series, do you test a third of your crew every day so you're kind of having rolling testing, you know, so you've got everybody tested every three days. I mean, those are all different levels of, of, of precautions that you may want to take. The changes are not only happening behind the scenes, but also on screen. Intimate scenes involving kissing or even singing could be scrapped. We're talking about the creative process and you know, and if it's like, oh, you know, we'd like this, this scene where we have, you know, all of these people singing at the same time. And it was like, well, that, we could have done that, you know, four months ago. For now, the biggest obstacle for resuming production is establishing best practices that are tried and true. He says the demand for content is there. I think there's going to be a lot of production work coming to Hawaii. Now, how that production is handled, I think, will be different for a long time. The state plans for film production to be a big factor in stabilizing the economy. Last year, TV and film brought $800 million statewide. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.